good morning students today we are going to see the third lesson grammar exercise okay already i have sent the video of plus que parfait if you have any doubt you can see the video one or twice once or twice and if you have still more doubts you can clarify with me okay so uh, actually uh, the plus que parfait you have to know is it is a past so already you have learned about imperfect now it is plus que parfait so already i told you in as past uh, the most earlier action which is been done will be done with plus que parfait for example if there is two past tense in the same sentence the first action what they have started will be in or what they have completed in will be in plus que parfait okay so now you can see uh, the importance is very important you have to know is the imperfect of avoir and être which is uh, acting as an auxiliary verb for this particular sentence so if you know only the imperfect of avoir and être you will be able to conjugate plus que parfait and the given verb has to be written in past participle form so one more rule is whenever you conjugate with avoir the past participle will never change but if it is with the être the past participle has to accept the number and gender and one more rule you have to add here is if there is a direct object before verb avoir the past participle has to accept the number and gender of the direct object okay now we shall we go to the exercise first one mettez le verb a plus que parfait now you see here example arti dash le sale so that means arti uh, dash the sale means it is decorer is given the verb is decorer is to decorate so arti ave decore le sale so arti had decorated the living room then mina dash a manger apporter is given mina ave apporte a manger so mina had carried to eat so brought to eat or anything so ravi and jayanti so here it is two person it is plural form so ravi and jayanti dash la kuvatam plastic ashatar is the verb given so ravi and jayanti avyo ashate la kuvatam plastic the next one jo dash la table arranger is given jo ve arrange la table so i had arranged the tables ma mer dash la gato fair is given fair is to do so here ma mer avait fait la gato that means my mother had done the cake nu dash la plato sur la table mitra is the verb mitra m i s is the past participle you have to be very careful with this particular verb so nu avion la pla sur la table that is we had placed the dishes on the table okay we'll go to the next exercise now here give the cause donner la cause means give the cause the suivant situation suivant uh, utilizing la plus que parfait so you have to give the situation cause of the situation following in utilizing plus que parfait so here we are going to introduce parsaka in every sentence okay be in two sentence will be connected so which is going to be in the bracket form will be connected with the parsaka and the subject will be what will be for will be taken from the leading friend that is the first sentence for example here you see lalita ave mal o ventre throb manger is given so lalita had a stomach pain too much uh, to eat too much so that is what is uh, given in the bracket now we have to connect it lalita ave mal o ventre parsaka illave throb manger so so here you see the subject is taken from the first sentence itself lalita means she so here it is conjugated with avoir and trop throb is a adverb which is has to be replaced after the auxiliary verb that is very very important okay here that one you have to remember and uh, next one first ex first one a infant pleurier perdre son chien so a child used to cry to lose his dog an infant pleurier parce que il avait perdu son chien so a child used to cry because he had lost it is not perendre it is perdre perdu is the past participle so he he had lost his dog then pridam or receive yun conservation condur tropi that is pritam had received a fine to drive too fast now we have to connect this two sentence pritam or receive yun conservation parsaka il ave condu tru vidyat that is he has received a Uh, fine because he had driven too fast then here through we is not an adverb so that is replaced as usual 
then ma pete fer on you ma or dent that is my brother little brothers had some toothaches uh to eat that is mango throb the bob means to eat too much sweets ma pete fer on you mal on dent parsakayil ave mango throb the bob that is my two that is my brothers little brothers had to take because they had eaten lot of sweets then ragu and ramesh on ramesh etya trist that is where sad receive the move no to receive some bad mark so ragu and ramesh etya trist parsakai love resu the move no that is they were sad because they had received some bad mark so here it is third person plural that is you have to remember carefully next is tirlok so now tirlok had an eye problem eye pain that is mal you means eye pain utilizer large nitro that is to utilize a computer for a long time tirlok a you mal a you parsak illa ve utilize large nitro through long so here uh, the past that is the verb is uh, conjugated in third person singular ill await okay ill await means it is third person and utilizer is used in third person form and it is written in past participle form so this is how we have to remember this exercise okay the next exercise see here this exercise is very important because already i told you the rule <coughs> which you have already i told you before <coughs> that is the condition if there is a direct object before the verb avoir in case then the past participle has to accept the number and gender of the direct object okay that is the rule you have to remember for this particular exercise first one you see the founder wasi la university kail dash so now you have to conjugate wasi la university kail ave founde so now here you see the before k the university is the that is the direct object so it has to replace the past participle has to accept the number and gender of the particular direct object so f o n d e and another e is added because it is feminine okay the next one construire voici la maison que il pour sa parents voici la maison que il avait construit pour sa parents that is here is the house kail ave construe so now you have to remember carefully construe t it tends in t but e is added before because la maison is the direct object which is placed before k so now the uh, condition has to be uh, done here okay that is what is given here you have to be very careful here so construe pur sa parents next one creer creer is to create was ivola la center the research kail so now here cre already there is an accent over e first e so you need not worry about that you have to replace the same thing but another e when it is replaced in past participle form that e should also have the accent so vula la center the cre so here is the research center kail avian cre that they had created so that is the thing i told you right now so double e and the first e and second e has to have the same accent then ekrir wasi kelka pom kail dash kwandil ete jon that is wasi kelka pom that is here is here is few poems kail ave ekrit so here you see that ekrit after t s is added because pom is written in plural form had written when he was small okay it is in imperfect then next one is receiver to receive wasila merilian ka janaki dash ala university so wasila merilian ka janaki avet resu so here already i told you for receiver it is r e c u but here e s is added why because la medelier so that is the reason that is what i told you that is before the Uh, verb avoir and it is in direct object so for that the past participle has to accept the number and gender okay the next one habitier vula la maison ka jaron dash pendant son infance that is here voici la maison voici la maison vula sorry vula la maison means here is a there is a house that gra gerard means gerard is a name avait habite so now here you see e is added another e is added because la maison is the direct object which is in feminine singular 
so that is what the e is added to the past participle pendant sans infant okay so you have to remember very careful and practice this exercise once or twice then only you'll be able to remember okay now we'll go to the fourth exercise now here you can see the exercise now fourth exercise constitute uh, libre limo that is libre movements freely the phrase on uh, utilizing la element on a suvela model so you have to follow the model that is very very important example sir je revelier is given je revelier is given so now what you have to do is when quand ma ami on sonne je me été revelier so we have to create our own sentence when my friends have knocked that is in passé composé je me été revelier so i had waked up myself so it is written in plus que parfait and it is a pronominal verb you know the reflexive pronoun has to be replaced exactly and all the pronominal verb was conjugated with être okay now you can see the second one monsieur se lever so whenever you start you can start with quand so quand ma parents sont en téléphone monsieur a été levé so that is when my parents have telephoned masiu my sister had waked up herself so that is also a pronominal verb you know pronominal verb is written with imperfect uh, sorry it is conjugated with the uh, etre okay that is that is very very important you have to remember okay the past participle again here also you have to be very careful with the past participle next one ma mère prépare le petit déjeuner so my mother to prepare the breakfast quand la invité sont arrivés ma mère avait préparé le petit déjeuner that is when the guest have arrived ma my mother had prepared the breakfast okay that is the meaning of the sentence here you can see away it is conjugated with our prepare prepare is written in prepare form the next one je relir ma no di biology that is when mo exam arrive that is when my exam have arrived jave relu relu you can you have already uh, seen lir lir is the verb to read relir means to read again or to go through again jave relu means i had uh, prepared or i had revised mo no di biology means the biology notes the next one ma fre maître lure livre dans lure cartable so that is my brothers to put their books in the drawers their drawers okay when quand de la cloche a sonné when the bell has rung when the bell has rung ma frère avait ma lure livre dans lure cartable my brothers had placed their books in their drawers okay so that is very important here you have to see metre metre is the verb given metre m i s it is written in plural form a v m because here it is my brothers the next one mon père ne pa partir pour le bureau you have to write it in negative form you have to be very careful when you write the negative form quand la directeur a venu mon père ne était pa parti pour le bureau that means when the director have come my father had not left for the office so the past participle so whenever you are writing a negative see that it is replaced before and after the auxiliary verb then comes the past participle okay so these are the four exercises we have discussed in this lesson i would like you to write all this four lesson once again i don't want you to send what you have written already write once again all this four exercise entirely in a separate a4 sheet paper not in a note a4 sheet paper and send to me by 1 o'clock all the students i want every students to write this four exercise and send to me in a a4 sheet a4 sheet not a sheet what i have written already okay i want the date also and your parents sign i want the date and your parents sense you have to be very serious we have started and it is going on so you have to